Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tempe Creek where we work on our winery, vineyard, and our homesteading operations. My name is Michael, and if you're into that sort of content, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our future videos. And today I'm talking about what equipment I'm going to buy with my stimulus check. So stick around. Before we get started guys, I want to know what you guys are going to spend your money on. So go ahead and write down in the comments below what you're going to spend your stimulus money on. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and spend our stimulus check on white making equipment to help you guys upgrade whatever setup you have. Um, and these are my recommendations for what you guys should be spending your money on if you're just starting out or if you're just thinking about starting your own uh, vineyard or winery. One of the first things to consider, in my opinion, is having a decent pump for whatever size venue you are. If you're a home winemaker, I would still consider spending on a small pump because racking is probably one of the more difficult things that you guys do, all of us do. Um, and so having a good pump to be able to do that is definitely beneficial. Um, the pump I would suggest, at least for a very small winery where you're pumping out maybe 50 to 100 gallons, which is what we usually do here, it's my Blickman uh, Riptide uh, pump, um, which I spent about $200 on it. <clears throat> but it has been very helpful in starting us out. Um, eventually, probably will upgrade, but for the quantities we're doing right now, like I said before, 50 to 100 gallons, it, it works and the price point is right. <clears throat> Another thing to consider if you want to up your wine equipment game is one of these guys. This is a floor corker. This is actually what we use to uh, cork um, our, our wine here and this I guess is part of our bottling line um, which we do everything by hand. I will be making a future video on how we bottle here at the winery so, so make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss that. <laughs> I've literally bottled thousands of bottles with this floor corker here. I wouldn't recommend you doing anything else, none, none of that two lever sort of thing. Just go ahead and bite the bullet, especially with the stimulus check. If you haven't got one already, it really changes the game and how much you can bottle in one sitting. I got this is just over a hundred bucks on Amazon. Um, and so the price is right. And like I said before, I bottled literally thousands of bottles just with this guy alone. <clears throat> a tank recommendation to spend your money on is a, the Spidel? Speedle? Spidel? I don't know how to speak German. Another recommendation to bring up your capacity would be the tank that we use here is a Spidel 132 gallons or 500 liter tank. Um, it's about $500, um, but it really increases your capacity of how much you can make at one time. Um, actually, we are definitely going to be spending our money on increasing our tank space um, and that's actually one I'm going to go ahead and purchase. So I'll have two of those tanks here because I think honestly it's like one of the best buys that we did here uh, for the winery. Most of our batches are 50 to 100 gallons. This one is able to cover all of our needs currently and so that and it's the price is right for that one. The last thing I would recommend buying uh, with your stimulus money would actually be a nitrogen tank. Um, this actually is going to help you guys keep your wine fresher um, to a, be able to top off any airspace that you have in your tank so that your wine can stay um, fresh when you are bulk aging it. Also so when it helps you out when you're bottling and gets rid of all the oxygen in your bottles again to keep that wine fresh um, after you have already bottled it. Depending on the size of tank that you get. It can range anywhere from 100 to 2 to just over $200, again depending on the size of the tank. You can get these at a welding supply store or if you're really in a pinch and there's no and you don't know where to find one, you can always do Amazon, but again, it's gonna be a little bit expensive. So there you have it. These are the things on my short list um, for you guys to spend your stimulus money on <clears throat> to help grow your capacity to make awesome wines. Um, if this was useful to you at all, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps my channel out and it'll help me bring more content for you guys. Don't forget to check out these other videos that I have selected for you. 